Welcome back, my fabulous viewers. Today, we have an exciting update that's sure to pique your interest. We're diving into the world of literature and discussing the most popular books of the last decade. Can you guess which book takes the top spot? Keep watching to find out. But before we jump into the juicy details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our incredible community of book lovers. We've got plenty more engaging content coming your way and you don't want to miss out. Now, let's talk about Prince Harry's autobiography, Spare. This extraordinary memoir has taken the literary world by storm and has been ranked among the most popular books of the last decade, according to the renowned book community, Goodreads. Prince Harry, who is known for his candidness and bravery, shares his personal journey in Spare. He opens up about his own self-examination, his complex relationship with his family, and his experiences with grief. It's an emotional roller coaster that truly tugs at the heartstrings. Can you imagine what it would be like to bear the burden of such a public spotlight while also facing personal struggles? This autobiography gives us a glimpse into Prince Harry's world and allows us to empathize with his journey. But our captivating royal story doesn't stop there. Let me reveal the book that has claimed the number one spot on the list. It's none other than The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This mesmerizing novel takes us into the glamorous yet troubled life of an aging Hollywood star determined to share her untold story. It's a tale filled with secrets, scandals, and unexpected twists that will keep you on the edge of your seat. And hold on tight, because we're about to embark on a thrill ride with The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. This gripping thriller, which was later adapted into a blockbuster film starring Emily Blunt, takes us on a suspenseful journey as we follow the protagonist's obsession with a mysterious disappearance. Prepare yourself for an intense reading experience that will make your heart race. But what about the books that touch our souls and leave a lasting impact? Delia Owens's Where the Crawdads Sing is a beautifully written novel that will transport you to the marshlands of the American South. It tells the story of a young girl's survival against all odds and the intricate connections she forms with the natural world. It's a tale of resilience, love, and the power of the human spirit. We can't forget about the incredible memoirs that have captured our hearts. Michelle and Barack Obama's individual memoirs have secured their spots on this prestigious list. Michelle's honors Crying in H. Mart takes us on a touching journey of grief, identity, and the healing power of food. Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mom Died is a poignant memoir that delves into the complexities of loss and finding solace amidst pain. And let's not overlook Trevor Noah's biography, Born a Crime, which shines a light on his remarkable life growing up in apartheid-era South Africa. Now, let's talk about the power of storytelling on the small screen. Celeste Inge's Little Fires Everywhere became an instant hit as it was adapted into a television series starring Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. This thought-provoking novel explores themes of motherhood, identity, and the complexities of race and class. It's a captivating watch that complements the book beautifully. Speaking of book-to-screen adaptations, Lyain Moriarty's Big Little Lies had us hooked from page one. With an incredible cast including Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman, this gripping story of secrets and lies unfolded into a sensational TV series that garnered critical acclaim and numerous awards. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and the magic that happens when books come alive on our screens. But wait, there's more. We have a fantastic lineup of other remarkable titles that have earned their place on the list. Colleen Hoover's Ugly Love... Kylie Reed's Such a Fun Age, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Americana, Britt Bennett's The Vanishing Half, and Bernardine Evaristo's Girl, Woman, Other are all books that deserve a special spot on your reading list. As we wrap up this captivating discussion, I want to know your thoughts. Which book from the last decade has had the biggest impact on you? Do you agree with the list, or do you have any hidden gems to recommend? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our incredible community. Until next time, happy reading.